Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard, Cisneros at your service. Today I'll be reading the October 9th Daily Inspirational Message. The condensed version is two paragraphs long. Then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Okay, here we go. The title, Understanding the Acts of Frustration and Anger. Paragraph 1. When we act with frustration and anger towards self or another, what the ego is trying to do is separate us from each other. We are all one, but if the ego can convince us that we're separate from each other, then it can also make us think that we are separate from God. The ego tries to convince us that if we experience and express judgment, frustration, and anger, then we obviously cannot be a part of a perfect, all-loving source. If we feel separate from God, then the ego knows we will look to it for safety and support. If we feel separate from others, then the ego can convince us that we can judge them without hurting ourselves. Judgment is the ego's main fuel source. This is why it needs to convince us that it is safe to judge others. Knowing this, let us look for a better way to co up coexisting with each other. Paragraph 2. Today, let us practice going from a mindset where the ego's programs are in control to one where our loving, eternal essence is back in the driver's seat. Judging himself and others, frustration, anger, are a few signs that show us that the ego's mindset is controlling our thinking. A few signs that show us that we're back in control are gratitude, forgiveness, and a trust in God. First, let us be grateful to others for offering us the opportunities to practice letting go of the ego's programs. Second, let us forgive them for whatever we have been programmed to think they did to us. Third, let us place our trust in God's plan in the divine design. We do so knowing that God is love and thus will use all of our experience, experiences to help us grow, heal, and awaken to our, our eternal loving essence and nature. Okay. Understanding the acts of frustration and anger. Okay. First we have to think about where are frustration and anger born within us? If God is love and all and we are his sources creations, then our true nature is love and love's expressions, such as forgiveness, compassion, understanding, joy, peace. That's the truth in us. So this anger and frustration must have been programmed into us as we were growing up through our parents' actions and reactions, through our friends' actions and reactions, society, media, etc. Little by little, we've learned this other way that the world says is a perfectly fine way to act and react, being frustrated and, and, and angry, uh, but a way that little by little, we'll start to see that there's just something not right with this way of thinking and being. Frustration and anger never get us to the states of actual true peace, everlasting peace, everlasting joy. And if some programs don't get us to the, our desired destination, why continue to um, give it your time, focus, and energy? Why continue to support it if it doesn't support you? Why? And so if you're starting to realize that anger and frustrations are not really a true part of you, that they are actually unproductive, no matter how right the world, the world's duality, the world, the pe people in it, the media, society tells you that you are to do so, if it doesn't get you to being who you were created by God to be, which is to be the light of the world, then you're never going to feel fulfilled as long as you're playing the ego's game, as long as you're following the ego's program and mindset. 
And so how do we be, begin to release ourselves from the ego's program and mindset of frustration and anger? Okay. Simple. It takes time. It takes practice. But little by little, you'll see how natural it is to the truth in you. Whenever frustration comes into your mind, whenever the ego insists that a situation or activity should frustrate you, remember where that's taking you before. You know where you desire to be. So simply realize, okay, I'm feeling frustrated. You know what? That's my ego programming thinking for me. It's taking control over my mind. My mind is to be compassionate, forgiving, understanding, because those are love's expressions. So if I was thinking, if I, the truth in me was thinking, then I would have, I would use forgiveness, compassion, understanding, that frustration. And so uh, we, we do so by remembering, okay, I'm frustrated now. You know what? Let me, pra let me use this moment to practice trusting in the divine design to practice trusting in divine timing. And so let's say you're at a line at a supermarket and you're starting to feel frustrated. You know what? Stop, recognize it, stop, and say, okay, this is an opportunity that the universe is offering me to practice trusting in the divine design and divine timing, that everything's gonna happen exactly when it's supposed to. And so this situation right here just it's just a design, it's a perfect design for me to learn to be more patient instead of being frustrated. That I can in any moment choose patience over frustration. Choose peace instead of being frustrated and uh, conflicted in my thoughts about my brothers or sisters. And so we use frustration now not to further condemn our brothers and sisters, not to further fall into the darkness of the ego's programs, but instead to rise up and practice using that to trust the divine design, to trust divine timing. Okay, this moment of frustration, all it is, all it is, is God gifting me this moment so I can practice aligning with His mind by trusting the divine design, by trusting divine timing. And when I do so, when I choose the divine timing or the divine design, instead of the ego's program frustrations, what happens? Peace results. And what happens when you have peace? You become an example to others. You become a light to those in the darkness. You become a way out of the tunnel of darkness that the ego has sold to your brothers and sisters and to you as being your home. And so thank you. Thank you, frustration. Because I know all you're doing is helping me practice remembering who I truly am and what I'm meant to do in this exact moment. Same with anger. Anger is the same kind of thing. Whenever you feel the egos taking control of your mind by being angry, simply stop. Okay, take a breath. <laughs> Recognize Anger is not a part of the truth in you. Peace, compassion, forgiveness, that's a true part in you. So if in that moment, you, the truth in you was really in control, then forgiveness would be your response. Compassion would be your response. Understanding would be your response. Not anger. Anger is just a symbol, a sign that the ego is in control of your mind. And if it's in control of your mind, guess what? It's in control of your thinking and life. And then you wonder why you feel unfulfilled being angry? Because it's not even you living your own life. It's the ego who's living <laughs> your life. And you're just following along like some, some zombie, following the ego's programming, your parents' programming, society's programming, media's programming. That, said, that has taught you that somehow anger is a proper response to God's creations. No. No. It is not. It will never take you to your true destination again, which is the state of peace, which is to be the light of the world. There's ways you can use your passion through love. Use your passion 
to make changes. You don't need anger. Anger, anger might be useful to those in the duality, to those buying into the duality as real, the ego's duality as real. But there's something, something actual that's real, that's separate from God, from love, from all. That's a lie. That's a lie that we've been taught as true. And if they, they taught us this lie over and over again, guess what? We start to believe it. If you read to a, a child a fairy tale over and over again, they start to believe it. And that's what's happened when we buy into the delusions of frustration and anger. We just believed a fairy tale that's not true. That's not what God created us to do. Okay? So, let's not punish ourselves when we're frustrated or angry. Okay? Let's just catch ourselves. Practice catching yourself. And the more you practice catching yourself, guess what? The less time you spend in the in the do I was gonna say BS, <laughs> but no, I won't say that. In the do in the delusion, in the ego's distortions. Okay, so just catch yourself. Catch yourself when you're frustrated or angry. Remember, that's not the truth in you thinking that. Come back and align with the truth in you. Align with the mind of God and offer only love only who you truly are to your brothers and sisters so that you can be the light of the world that God created you to be. And at the end, always, as we say so many times during these daily inspirations, offer gratitude for the experience. Offer gratitude to your brothers and sisters for bringing this experience into your self-awareness so you can practice going from frustration and anger to forgiveness and compassion and a greater trust in the divine design and the divine timing. Because the more you get to practice this shift from the unreal to the real, from the lies to the truth, the more you'll see, yeah, you know what? Compassion, forgiveness, understanding, a trust in the divine design, a trust in the divine timing. That feels good. That feels right. That feels in alignment with my heart and with my soul. And so be grateful to your brothers and sisters. Those same brothers and sisters, the ego would have you judge and condemn and criticize and hate and have revenge for, offer them your gratitude. Or they're just part of a process that's helping you go from the darkness to the light in you. And when you start to align more and more with the light in you, you become a light at the end of the tunnel that your brothers and sisters can begin to see that there is actually a, another way. There's a better way. There's a more productive way of being human. And so, thank you, brother and sister. Thank you, situation. Thank you, experience. Pat yourself on the back, it's okay, <laughs> for going through the experience because now you'll have spiritual tool belts. Yes, excuse, excuse me, spiritual tools in your tool belt. Uh, that life experience. Now you have it in your tool belt, spiritual tool belt. And now you can use it anytime those things pop up. And you can help teach your brothers and sisters another way, a better way, a way to the truth in them, a way to finding the truth in them. Simply through your example. Simply by being who God created you to be. Simply choosing to align with the mind of God in every situation, in every experience. And so, thank you, person A and B. Thank you, God, for this experience. And pat yourself on the back that, that you used this experience to help you heal, grow, and awaken. Pat yourself on the back when you recognize quicker and quicker that you don't belong with frustration and anger. You belong here in alignment with love, with who God created you to be. And that's who you are and that's who we all are. No matter how asleep some of us might may be. We all are only the truth in us and only the truth in us is true. Only the love in us is true. Everything else is just a program we've been sold to as true. Okay, got a little long there. <laughs> but uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much for that. <laughs> 
Uh, I love you very much. If you can be so kind as to like, comment, or share this video, it will help with the listening process and it might help somebody let go of frustration and anger a little bit more and align with who they truly are, which is the love and light of God. And if you made it this far, again, thank you very much. I love you very much. And God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.